In this video, I'm going to show how to model the hour, minute, and second hand with splines and make sure they fit over the bolt nicely. First, I'm going to go into the front viewport. I'm going to turn on 3D Snap with S, go into the Create panel, go into the Shapes, I'm going to select a line, and I'm going to just drag out out a rough arrow shape. Then I'm going to close the spline. From here I'm going to go back into the modify panel. I'm going to extrude out this spline. Probably about 1.5. I'm going to change the color to red. I'm going to go back into the front viewport, shut off the snap, go into the left viewport, and roughly, and with wireframe mode turned on, roughly get this into a position where it's large enough to be over the front, over the numbers. Go back into the front. I'm gonna Alt A align it to the center of the of the clock object. In the X and the Z position. I'm gonna then size it up, size it down, and size it over and out relatively how I want it for the clock and then move it up farther and then I'm gonna just I'm messing around with the sizes sizing of this the hour hand <clears throat> next I'm gonna go back into the left viewport go into wireframe mode I'm gonna drag out another copy of this object by holding shift and moving with the <clears throat> all along the x-axis. I'm going to make an, a copy of it, not an instance. Go back into the front viewport. Going to relatively size it down a little bit and then Alt A align it to the center and move it down a little bit more. I'm gonna then change the color the color to distinct and make this the make sure that this is the minute hand. I'm gonna go back into the left viewport and move it forward some that way it's not completely laying over the top of the hour hand. Go back into the front viewport. Turn off wireframe mode. I'm then going to shift drag out another copy of this. Make this a greenish color. Go back into the left. I'm going to go into wireframe mode and drag it out a little bit farther. Go back into the front viewport, shut off Turn off wireframe mode, go back into shaded edge face. <clears throat> I'm then going to respectively go back into the line mode of it and select the points. I'm going to select, <clears throat> select the outer points of the air arrow by holding control. I'm going to hit R on the keyboard to go into the scale and I'm going to scale it in on the x-axis or I'm going to I'm going to actually just move these in just by a little bit. I'm going to move the two center ones in a little bit to make this a little bit different than the other two hands. I'm 
bring up the front points. That way the, the second hand is significantly longer and a different shape than the other two. I'm going to go back out of the vertice sub-object mode. Go back to the extrude. I'm going to change in the hierarchy panel the pivot of these three objects. That way, if you are to animate this in the future, it'll rotate around the center of the clock. I'm going to just uh, align, Alt-A align it to the, the bolt, the pivot point. Now if I go out of the effect pivot only and hit the rotate object, it'll rotate around the bolt. I'm going to do it for the minute hand and then the hour hand as well. And then go out of the effect pivot only. At this point, we're done with step four. I showed you how to make three different, the three different hands for the clock. 